Right, we're back at Focus on Imaging, and I've got to say, I'm excited, because I'm about to meet the star of the show. The star of the show, David Parry, <laughs> <laughs> who's going to show us the star of the show, which is the Canon 5D Mark III. And I've been bugging Canon for three days to get to see this camera, <laughs> and finally I've got it right here in front of me. I can't wait to get my hands on it. How are you doing, Dave? I'm very well, very well. Brilliant. Um, so, uh, this, is, this is the big star of the show. It came out just as the show launched, uh, the Focus on Imaging show. Um, tell us a little bit about it, please. Okay, so, well, first of all, I'm very excited to be able to talk to, talk to you about this camera. Um, th I've been wanting to talk about this camera for a very long time because people have been asking us for the replacement for the 5D Mark II for quite a while. Oh, it's now, been so it's quite lovely. the buzz for about yeah. three years. Yeah. Yes, yes. So it's, it's very exciting to be able to talk about it. And actually, I'm, I'm really excited by the, um, uh, by the amount of new features we've actually got on here and the leap forward that this one is over the 5D Mark II. I'd say this is a much bigger leap um, on this one than we have between the Mark I and the Mark II. So the jump from the Mark II to the Mark III for me is a, is a, is a big step forward. Absolutely. And I mean, the, the features start, I think, uh, with the autofocus, which is, I mean, the, the 5D Mark II was, was well known to be a, a great camera for like uh, wedding photographers and things. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I think with the new autofocus, you could use this for sport and all sorts of things, couldn't you? Yeah, I mean, the 5D Mark II had a 9-point AF system, um, which was very good, and it was it was fine for you know portrait photography, wedding photography, landscape and detail work, and this kind of thing. Mm. But if you ever put this camera into a sport environment, the 5D Mark II into a sport environment, it didn't really excel. It didn't give you give you the best. So people fed back to us that you know they want a better autofocus system, mm. and what we've done. And we haven't just given them a better autofocus system, we've given them the best autofocus system that we can actually produce. So in here is our 61 point AF system from the 1DX. Right. It's got 41 cross types. And there are actually some slight differences between the one in the 1DX. The main difference being is this one doesn't actually see in colour. The one in the 1DX does see in colour, this one doesn't. Right. But it's still the 61-point um, AF. Right, okay. Um, and uh, you've got a bunch of other new features. I'm trying. I'm blanking now on <laughs> what the new yeah, features are. No uh, uh, there's, I mean, there's this new lock on here, isn't there? What else? Are? Yeah, we've... Um, just, just little uh, usability features. Yeah, yeah, we've got a, um, a lock on the command wheel. It's fed back to us that people um, could actually knock the command wheel mm -hmm. and actually move it, you know, move it when they're bringing it out of their bags or got it on their shoulders. So yeah. we put a little lock on there to stop that from happening. Right, and um, we've got new buttons on yeah, this side. Yeah, over this side here, we've got a multifunction button here which you can set up to um, uh, to do a number of different things. You know, um, I was saying that this one actually, I think, um, bears more resemblance actually to the 7D. Yeah, um, it does, yeah, definitely. You can see it right away. I mean, the, the 7D came out of this project, this two-year project that we put together um, a few years ago, um, asking photographers around the world what they liked about our cameras, what they didn't like, what they'd like to change. And the 7D came out of that project. And you can see a lot of the learnings from that um, mm. has actually gone into this, this camera as well. That's right. But um, what about the video stuff? Because the 5D2 was very famous for being... Um, you know, a great video camera. I know Hollywood took it to their heart, yeah. and it got used in house and all sorts of things. What have you, uh, what have you done to, to to develop that side of the, the camera? Well, there's, I mean, there's a massive leap forward now from the technology. Obviously, the 5D Mark II was the first camera that we launched, which did full high definition movies. And since then, obviously, technology's moved on, mm -hmm. and actually, the whole um, DSLR video industry has moved on. Um, it's quite incredible now what people are using these th these cameras for. We've got them for, you know, they've been used in house and um, uh, 24 and things like that. There's been feature films shot on them. Now what we've done to um, really improve on this is really we've cut down things like the rolling shutter effect and the moire effects and the artifacts that you, you, you used to be able to see on the 5D Mark II. So the video capabilities are actually, once again, very similar to our 1DX. Right. Um, we've also got things like, you've got um, a microphone input on this. You've also got a headphone jack as well. So you can monitor audio at last. Yes, you can, yes, yes. yes. And you've That's got actually a really big one. Yeah. As well. <laughs> I have headphones on right now because it's such <laughs> yeah. an important thing to do. Um, um, so um, you've got, you actually have full control over the levels as well, so you can adjust yeah. those. You have two compression rates on here. You have um, all eye or IPB compression, depending on your, your shooting format. So it's a very, very versatile camera for, for mm. videography. And I think also you've got this, this really cool new touch wheel on the back, haven't you? Yeah, the touch wheel. So what people found that when they were shooting movies, if they wanted to change the exposure and this kind of thing, if they rotated the wheel, the clicking could be picked up by the microphone. Mm -hmm. So on the 1DX, what we did is we turned this into touch sensitive when you're in movies. So literally, you can change the settings just by doing that. 
and we've now incorporated that into the 5D Mark III as well. Right, and I think you've also got another really quiet feature on here. We're going back to the stills. You've got the silent shooting mode, haven't yes, you? Yes, yeah, yeah. I we've mean, it's, it's faster anyway, isn't it, for continuous shooting? Yeah, continuous shooting on this one is, um, is six frames a second over 3.9 on the 5D Mark II. Yeah. So you can see straight away with this you know, more advanced AF system and the six frames a second, this has opened this camera up to a lot of sports and action and is that just, photography. Just down to the faster processor, or is that? Yeah, we've got our Digit 5 Plus in here, which is right. once again from our 1DX. Not the 5, the 5 Plus. The 5 Plus, right. yeah, which is 17 <laughs> times faster than our Digit 4, so it's a very, very fast processor. Right. Um, but yeah, going back to what you said about the silent shooting. Now, we've had silent shooting before, but what that's done is just broken up the noise. Mm -hmm. So you have the mirror come up, shutter open and close, and then a few seconds later the mirror will go down. What we've actually done with this one, we've got a brand new uh, mirror mechanism in here. And what it actually does is slows the mirror down. So the mirror slowly comes up, then comes down, and it breaks as it comes down, slows oh. down, and stops. So it doesn't go clunk. It a lot quieter. No. Right. Very, very quiet. I mean, I can demo that if yeah, you want. Yeah, let's, let's hear that. Let's hear that. Let me, let me take my lapel mic off, and I'll hold it right next to the camera. Right, so, so, okay. so play us. So first of all, let's just put it. So let's move this so you can see the mic. There we go. Okay, so I'll just put it on continuous shooting. So this is six frames a second as normal. Okay. okay that's what we used to, yeah. That is a good deal quieter. And that's silent. Yeah. So the only difference between them is silent shooting, if you want it continuous, will give you three frames a second. And normal shooting is obviously six frames a second. So right. that's the difference between them. But other than that, there's no difference. So it, it, just the fact that it's going up and down that little bit quieter and breaking as, as the mirror moves yep, yep. makes it a little bit slower. But if you do want to not interrupt. I, I mean, I think that's one of the features that most people here at the show have seen now and thought, that's brilliant. I do work in theatres, I do yeah. work in um, um, you know, churches and, and those sorts of environments where you don't want to attract attention to yourself, you don't want to you know, um, distract anyone. People are absolutely, absolutely thinking that's fantastic. You know, it's funny, it's always the features that you don't expect that people pick up on. And yeah. I've talked to a lot of people while I've been here at the show, it's the last day of the show now, and I've talked to a lot of people about this camera because obviously it launched at the start of the show. Yeah. And the feature that everyone has said they're really impressed with is that quiet shooting. <laughs> So, I mean, obviously there's lots of other great features on it, but it, people seem to have picked up on that one as a really as a, as a cool feature. So, and To be honest, I, I, I've been shooting with this camera and I actually really enjoy using it on silent yeah? because it actually feels really nice. The vibration is slightly different through the camera. Right. Um, and actually, because it is that bit quieter, it just feels that bit softer and it's actually very nice to use it in that, in that mode anyway. So unless you need that six frames a second, you, may, you might want to just leave it with the quiet shooting turned on. Interesting move. How are people reacting to it at the show? Are they liking it? Yeah, it's going down really well. I think it's one of the most e eagerly anticipated cameras um, uh, of modern, you know, our modern time, really. No question. Um, <laughs> following the 5D Mark, I mean, the 5D Mark II is going to be a, a real camera to follow because that has been, um, um, you know, so well accepted by the industry. It's um, a bit of superstar, the 5D II. Yeah, and obviously yeah. the 5D Mark II is carrying on. That's not being discontinued. So these two cameras will actually run alongside each yeah, other. Yeah, I, I, in fact, I know two or three people that have actually left the show with 5D2s, you know, that they've bought here at the show. Um, and I can't help feeling that, that this has just sort of raised that visibility in people's minds again. You know, that they're thinking about, oh man, I've been meaning to get a 5D2. You know, so maybe, uh, I don't think, well, I don't actually think we're going to see a glut of 5D2s on eBay. I think we're going to see a glut <laughs> of 5D1s on eBay. Which is still fantastic cameras. Yeah, a bit, it's still fantastic yeah, camera, yeah, but I yeah. think a lot of people are going to get rid of their 5D1s, which are their backups now, to get the 5D3 and keep the 2 as the backup. <laughs> So if you're after a two, you might still need to go to Jessup's or whatever it is. Um, uh, right, wh when is this available and, and how much are people going to um, pay for this? Recommended retail is £2,999 uh -huh. um, and it should be with us by the end of month. Uh, by the end of the month. So as the soon end of as March, that? Yeah, wow, it should be fantastic. with us by the end of the month. Yeah. Fantastic. And I know you've got a number of them here on the Canon stand. Yep. So uh, if people were here, hopefully they've seen it. Uh, by the time you see this video, the show will be over. <laughs> so you've missed your chance. Uh, but uh, thank you very much, David. That was a, no a brilliant little demo. Thanks, mate. No problem, thank Bye -bye. you. Photo Walkthrough is a free online video show about photography and digital photo editing using Photoshop and Lightroom. Please help support the show by using our sponsor's promo codes or by passing the promo codes on to your friends. Join the Photo Walkthrough community, find all the old shows, and subscribe to the new ones for free at photowalkthrough.com. Thank you.